You will be surprised to know that all the modern aeronautical engineering's various flying machines existed 2000 years back in the ancient Vedic era. These ancient vehicles were not only capable of flying, these machines were even armed with various deadly weapons and possessed equipments to execute stealthy attacks to enemies. These ancient secrets were buried in the book called Vaimanika Shastra. Today in this video we are going to dive deep into these ancient secrets and will try to figure out the relevance of these techniques to the modern day science. We are also going to look into the various controversies associated with all the ancient theories. Welcome to this journey of our unbelievable ancient Vedic science. The Vaimanika Shastra or Science of Aeronautics is an early 20th century text in Sanskrit. It makes the claim that the Vimanas mentioned in ancient Sanskrit epics were advanced aerodynamic flying vehicles. The existence of the book was revealed in 1952 by G. R. Josia who asserted that it was written by Pandit Subbarya Shastri, who dictated it during the years 1918 to 1923. A Hindi translation was published in 1959, while the Sanskrit text with an English translation was published in 1973. It contains 3000 shlokas in 8 chapters. According to Pandit Subbarya Shastri, the book was delivered to him by the great ancient Rishi Bharadwaja, who is known for various significant contributions especially in Rigveda. The descriptions of these flying machines or vimanas were not just a vague one, everything were mentioned in details through these ancient scripts, which includes the detailed procedure of manufacturing the vimanas, what to wear and what to eat while boarding inside it. During the past few years, some scientists have studied the content of Vaimanika Shastra to know if it is a figment of imagination or some concrete verification can be found. There are mentions of various instruments required to make these ancient flying machines by Maharshi Bharadwaj. In one of the chapters he made a mention of one instrument called Chumbakmani which is used to detect any arsenal or arms hidden underground. In Mumbai Professor Sharon found something incredible, according to him Chumbakmani is such a material which emits some kind of electrical signals through those electrical signals they are capable of detecting any objects hidden underground and this process of identifying objects through any electric or magnetic field is known as flux technology. So it is also clear that the flux technology, which has been invented by our modern scientists around 50 years ago was known to the Vedic scientist Maharshi Bharadwaj 1000 years ago. Another such validation comes from the research of Dr. Prabhu, who was able to study the original manuscript of Vaimanika Shastriya. By analyzing the Sanskrit scripts, he was able to model a mechanical machinery called Vakra Prasanna Yatra, by installing which the flying machines or vimanas were capable of taking sharp turns or reverse and these movements are useful for the vimanas to camouflage itself while being chased by any enemy. Such movements are known as Sharpa Gamana or moving like a snake. In Varanasi a faculty of physics constructed the Dhavantaprampaka Yantra which works more like a spectrometer. The primary components of this spectrometer was a conical shaped prism and a convex lens which were very different from the ones being used in modern spectrometers. These components working together can convert light beams of different sources into a ring of light with different colors depending upon the source of light. And this is how our ancient scientists were capable of distinguishing the lights coming from sun or other stars and capable of defining the route to their destination as there are mentions of vimanas which could fly to one planet to the other. There are also some controversies associated with the theories of Vaimanika Shastriya. The 102nd Indian Science Congress held at the Mumbai University in January 2015 organized a session on ancient sciences through Sanskrit in which a presentation on Vaimanika Shastra was included. It was delivered by Anand J. Bodhas, a pilot, and Amaya Jadhav, who holds in an MA in Sanskrit as well as an M. Tech degree. Bodhas, speaking to the news media, has said that the aeroplanes of Vedic times could fly not only from country to country, but also from planet to planet. According to Bodhas, in those days, aeroplanes were huge in size and could move left, right, as well as backwards, unlike modern planes which only fly forward, he added. 
In order to oppose these claims, Ram Prasad Gandhirman, a NASA scientist, launched an online petition demanding that the talk to be cancelled outright as it represents pseudoscience. Vemanika Shastriya and Vimanas are also mentioned in works about pseudoscience such as Regal's Pseudoscience, which is a, a critical encyclopedia. According to Regal, Vimanas are one of the common attempts to fit elements of ancient cultures into contemporary scientific 